and uh <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest day of these projects, man. Almost darn near, darn near kills, kills me every time. Hey, what's shaking, Mr. Dave out here in Lakeside. We are shooting cement on this monster. We've been working on this thing for months. And it's coming alive. So take a look at this crazy thing we're doing here. So we got like a bunch of half inch steel all everywhere. We pre-poured stuff along the edges of the weirs of the waterfall. It's gonna dump in, we got our planters pre-poured there our little bubbles are on the coping guys are getting ready to blast this thing putting stuff on here we pre-poured our steps so we can walk up and down to get the top of this monstrosity conduit for our lighting it's all over the place we have it in our planters and this is this crazy darn thing we're doing here. So our slide's gonna be a fun one. Just zoom around the corner, who knows where you're going, but you're gonna splash when you get through it. This is the main spring pond. That's our fat, fat, big A three inch uh, feed pipe. And uh, so the it's crazy, so gone is getting going here. So today, so we will uh, continue to shoot if I can, and as the process goes by, to show you how this whole thing works. And uh, here comes the mud and the cement is starting to flow. Here's the man who will be doing the artistry the with the shouting and the shooting of the cemento. Professional. How long have we been working together? Oh, like 15, 15 years, years at least, yeah. yeah. He is a maestro with the mud. So we're filling this up with the footings here. We got the footings done. Here's the inside. All right, uno momento. Uh, I had that open on purpose. Oh, you want me to yeah. shoot it like that? Yep. So you can get into it. Yeah, if, you, if you want to put it anywhere, you put it on the back side. Yeah, put it like a I'm going to leave that hole right there. I made that hole. Exactly. So I can fit it up. Exactly. But right here, I want to fit it up from the bottom. Once this one dries, I'm going to stick it in there from the top. Okay. Once we get this, then you, because we're going to go up top and get the top. So yeah. maybe we can do it then. So. Uh, there you go. So making adjustments as we speak. <sighs> This is the inside of the cavity. So I'll be full of water when this sucker's done. We got our, our support braces holding the whole roof up so it cannot bow and bend down on our heads. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that'll work. Actually, I don't want, I'd like, I, Dave, we need to have more flex down in here. We need that board much closer that way. That two, that piece of right bar is no bueno. Okay. I want it to go straight across and that way there's enough loose uh, conduit on the end of there to be able to play, play with it for the the, art, um, the electricians. So if you can just push that, yeah, there you go. And just give it like three inches, you know, off the, yeah, there you go. We just have enough room in the back there. I think that'll be better. And you can take dirt and dump it down the back to tighten that up. All right, there you have it. Getting it going, getting it ready. Uh, me barking orders. <laughs> And I already cut myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All right, well, 
We will come back at you when this thing is turned from wiry whatevers to rock. Because this day, on this day, the structure sort of like looks kind of eh, whatever. But when we're done shock treating, it looks like rocks. They're all gray, but still, it uh, is a huge transition, a huge milestone. So we're really excited to get this uh, done. It's been months in the making. I don't know if you can hear the little jet engine and cement machine blowing it on here, but it's happening. We are finally getting this shot creek going on. So we've completed all the pegboard, all the burlap, all the rocks. And so now we're coming around and they are blowing the wall of this puppy on right now. So well, that's how we do it. We try to blow it where we want it to go and keep it where we want it to, to be. And uh, nobody getting hurt and having it come out at the end looks like a rock or a bunch of rocks or a cool big giant cave thing. So a couple hours and we will have this turned into rocks instead of just chicken wire, rebar, and burlap, and pegboard. So it's coming, it's coming. But anyways, hope you're enjoying these videos and like them and share them and uh, and uh, and uh, hope you uh, yeah just I just love doing this stuff it's it's pretty crazy so anyway be uh, forgiving be kind be loving to those you love because you never know when your time is up put away all bitterness and and be unforgiving unforgiving and uh, all that stuff because uh, it's way more fun being happy so Mr. Dave out here doing another shock read day and then lakeside so god bless y'all we'll see you next time